Good day everybody. Welcome to Cypress Pillar Healing Arts. In today's video, I wanted to share some Qigong. Um, and in a perfect world, the Qigong we do is, is standing. But sometimes fates have different ideas for us. Either we're tired or we're injured or we're just not able to necessarily get up and move about the way we want. But that doesn't mean that we should neglect our Qigong practices. We can do them in bed when we're, we're waking up in the morning or at night as we're falling asleep. We can do them while we're sitting around, um, kind of waiting for things to occur uh, in the in-betweens when it's kind of boring. So today I wanted to share with you uh, some Qigong in a nice laying position. Now the key here, much like um, with Qigong that we do standing, we want to make sure that our back is comfortable. We may want to put a pillow under our knees in order to have a nice little bit of a, a, a bend to the knees. Um, so for example, the pillow that's behind my head whoop, will become the pillow that's underneath my knees. The other pillow will move and this way I can lay flat. Again, we want spine nice and straight. We want hips in a comfortable position. We want tip of tongue touching roof of the mouth just behind the teeth, eyes soft and relaxed. Now that we've gotten ourselves into a nice position, spine straight, hips comfortable, knees with a little bit of a bend, we're gonna focus first on our breath. So one hand on top of the other, doesn't matter, just whichever hand, both hands on top of the belly button, and here what we want to do is we want to feel our back pressed against the surface that we're lying on and we want the hands to be pushed up to the heavens. So big breath in, controlled breath out. Focus on really filling up that abdomen nice and big. Breath out. You can do as many of these as you feel like doing but for here we're going to pause and move on to the next set so the next set is simple enough our elbows resting gently on the on the mattress on the on the um, whatever we're laying on mattress or cushion or wherever we may be hands relaxed and here we're just going to do a gentle open as we breathe in Close as we breathe out. Big breath in and out. And again, as many of these as you feel you wish to do. So next, we're going to bring the hands down. We want to again relax the shoulders, relax the arms. As we breathe in, just draw a nice arc up. Turn the hands, and as we breathe out, bring them back down. Scoop with the hands, bring them up until we're about straight over our shoulders. We don't want to go too far back. We might be a, a headboard, there might be something there, or we might put too much pressure on those shoulders, which we don't want to do. So we then roll the palms and gently bring them back down. Down. 
Now from here, gently bend the elbows, bring the hands up, and we'll find that there's a nice natural position these sit in. Don't pull them back, just find that nice neutral position. Back of the arms will probably be touching the mattress or the surface you're on. And here we're just going to push up to the heavens and roll the hands over and pull back gently to those shoulders till those arms set nice and gentle on your flat surface. Breath in. Breath out. Beautiful. Bring the hands down and we'll do one more. So this one we're going to just focus on one hand then the other. Now if there's a back if to your bed or you're against a wall it might be a little more difficult. So make it smaller. But we want to draw a nice circle around. Up. And then back. Back to the belly button. Then the other side comes around back. Let the hand roll so as it comes around it should roll to palm up. As we come back around to palm down. Big breath in and out. As we go through the movements and we're making big breaths, we're making these little motions, imagine that with this the chi is flowing through the body, up to the palms of the hands, to the fingers, then back down to the belly button. Do. For this set, we'll do one more to each side, but again, as many as feels good. I leave that up to you. And then, of course, once we've completed that, let's return back to center. Big breath in, pushing those hands up to the heavens, breath out. Feel the hands sink back to center. Hopefully with that, we then have the chi flowing, the blood moving. We're feeling a little more lively. And we will go ahead and call that a set. Practice this. Have fun with it. Make it yours. If there's other movements you want to add in, just follow the Tai Chi or Qigong principles. Tie it to the breath. Keep it slow and always feeling everything move.